we're talking about France, we're talking about global issues here. We have another terror attack foiled in France. Bear in mind, France has had, since January 2015, since Charlie Hebdo, 20 Islamist terror attacks, basically the equivalent of 20 San Bernardinos uh, to differing extent and extents in France. It's absolutely out of control. Now we have Gateway Pundit reporting, Islamists with bombs arrested in France planned presidential election attack. French police were successful in stopping a radical Islamic terrorist attack that was planned for the upcoming presidential election. The two men were planning the attack. They turned to radical Islam in a shared prison. Once again, this is the radicalization process. It always takes place in prisons because they stick them together. They segregate into gangs and anyone who doesn't show obedience to the Islamic gang is targeted. So then they become brainwashed. They become indoctrinated. The article goes on to say an Islamic State flag was found in the apartment where the two men were arrested. Anti-terror police made the arrest. It was uh, set to be some kind of uh, presidential election attack. They foiled it. There probably are more attacks in the, in the works right now because, again, this is what happens when you invite this culture into your country. France is 7% Muslim. This is a huge problem now. It's not just a problem in terms of the existential threat, in terms of violent terror attacks. It's the march through the institutions, as the socialists used to call it. The more a country becomes Muslim, Islamism is a political system. It's not just a set of beliefs. They want to take political power. They want to impose Sharia law, and they're doing it to a certain extent in many of these European countries. And that's the real threat. That's what changes the makeup of an entire society. It's not necessarily, although it's tragic, you know, eight people getting mown down on a bridge in Westminster, London. That's a one-off event, and it's tragic, and it's horrible. But it's about the march through, through the institutions. It's, it's about what they call dawah in Islamic faith. It's a political belief system. It's not just a religious belief system. They want to advance Sharia law. They want to advance these incredibly uh, misogynistic anti-women belief systems which subjugate them and make them, you know, they're treated a little better than cattle. We saw the video out of Saudi Arabia, I think it was, or Q8 a few weeks ago, where the, the slave maid is hanging from the window. What they said was a suicide attempt. And the woman's just filming it out of the window. They bring in slaves from Africa to do this kind of work. Again, no rules for employment whatsoever, they're, they're beholden to their masters. There you see the article we had a few weeks ago because of visa issues. So they treat them like absolute dirt, and that's part of their culture. And we, don't, we shouldn't want to import that culture into the West. Absolutely horrific stuff. Thankfully, she survived with just a broken leg, I think it was. But that is how slaves, they still have slaves in the Islamic world. That is how they're treated in countries like Kuwait. You had another video out of Saudi Arabia, which shows the guardian of the girls in the school, teenage girls, who are only able to exit the building if they're appointed drivers and male escorts are there to pick them up. If they're not, you saw the video, they emerge out of the classroom and they're whipped on the head with a stick to get back in. This is a Sharia law. This is how women are treated in Islamic countries, and they want to codify that through the march through the institutions to impose Sharia law. So it's not just about terror attacks. That's just a side effect. It's about society uh, being overturned by these belief systems, which are intolerant and completely contradictory to Western ideals of freedom and real, true equality for all. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.